Live on the internet. It's us. It's gamers. What's up, everybody? A sub straight off the bat from Hello Turtle. Hello Turtle. Thank you so much. Hello Turtle. Y'all, it's a hot ass day in New York it's City. It's a hot day. I have a heat rash it's on a, my arm. Julia's got a heat rash. I'm wearing a sleeveless green eggs and ham shirt. Odie Prommel just subscribed. That's how you know it's a hot day. Chronic irony. Chronic irony gets in here for the extra heat on this hot ass day. It's a hot ass day. In New York City. It's not a tank. It's a. It's. It was a t-shirt at one point. Just cut off those sleeveys. And I, I actually got it from my roommate like this. She didn't want it for some reason, which I still don't understand. Because I think it's a it's real, a perfect it's shirt. a real gem. It's a real gem of a shirt. Uh, Y'all stay hydrated. Casey B says we're a bit quiet. There's literally nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. I can lower the game volume. I mean, I can do that too. And, uh, but I don't think it's that high. I think uh, this is just as loud as our microphone goes. As a mountain. And I look at the little bar, and it Thank looks like you. we're getting in the yellow on it. Yeah. What do we do about that? Um, Elim said, I would like to say I was watching the VOD of the Droppy stream, and as a musical gay, I would like to offer Jacob my support and not understanding cats. Thank you so much, Elim. I need that support. All the cats not understanders out there need to band together. I'm with you. No one should understand cats. Uh, if we have a fan Ooh. running, it might cause it to sound softer. Well, we gotta have the AC on or else we'll die. Yeah. Uh, Moon Truth Movement 2019. <laughs> Subscribe. Wow. I hope that the Moon Truth Movement is that it's up there. You can see it. And it is definitely an orb. You know that it's a projection from a dad's basement into oh. the sky? Oh, your dad's is fault. Your dad's is fault. Yes. Marine Pixel says Julia's shirt and Jacob's tank top are the bisexual conundrum. I feel like we're representing both ends of the uh, dress spectrum here. Yeah. And I think that's important. I got um, pineapples. And I got sure. green eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. Got it. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Are you guys less hot than we are? Are you living in a place where there's not a heat wave? Because we went out for like a hot minute and um, it was terrible. It was terrible. Regretted it every second. Buckeye Gamer subscribed and said, Eight months. Wow, I'm almost a full-grown SSS baby. Nice. That's true. You're about to be birthed into the world of gaming. Thank you, Derpy Gecko, for saying we look beautiful today. Thank you. Uh, some people are very hot, and other people are very cold. Mm -hmm. You know? And I think that's really beautiful, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. We were told once again uh, that we have uh, the bisexual energy all high. Nice! So... I'm proud of us for that. I'm proud of us for that, too. I think we're really living our best lives here. Yeah. The only way I could be doing it better is if this were a crop top sleeveless shirt. Oh, don't give Cam any ideas. And you guys wouldn't know. It could be. You can't see could down be. there. Could be. You could pretend it My is. My shirt could be tied off at the bottom here. You can roleplay like it is. I have, like, a little, little midriff showing. Midriff. A little midriff showing. Uh, we're back again... In the sinking city. Yeah, I tried jumping into it to handle um, horror wife, glitching horror wife. Yeah. Um, turns out fighting in this game is like nigh impossible. So, what are you drinking? I'm drinking scotch. I don't have to game. I'm just enjoying my evening. I get to fully relax. I'm drinking water. I have water, too. I can drink two things. Jacob Andrews in a crop top has oh, appeared. Oh, yes, you're here. You knew. You sensed it. I knew you would come. Um. Uh, Lollipop Punk says, Hey, guys, about three months ago I was homeless, sleeping on my parents' couch, and I'm now well settled in Colorado. Nice! Congratulations. Congratulations! That's awesome to hear. Glad things are going better. Um. So, yeah, fighting in this game, really hard. Probably going to try to avoid it. 
It seems like you're not supposed to do it. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. I did discover... Fish! fish. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sinking City, where people spray paint the word fish on a wall. They, they really are obsessed with fish here. Fish! I also discovered that there are... Uh, this is how you fast travel, is through uh, phone booths. Oh, you call like the a doctor. cab? <laughs> I don't know. You look at this map, and then you find other fast travel points. Interesting. So you want to find those fast travel points so you can get around easy. Yeah. I tried... By the way, I'm, I'm here in the shells and not where we were last time because I tried to do the first, like, casebook thing because I thought maybe it would be easier and that I would earn something to help me with the future ones. No, I just got wrecked immediately. So shit's not great. Shit's not great. Do you have any skill points? No. You, have, you have zero knowledge points and only 40 experience. Love it. You're you're a pathetic babe in the sinking city. Yeah. You are but an infant to this world of fish and apes at war with one another. Yeah. Um, why don't we try to, like, go further in the main story? In the main The, the main, main case. case. Lost at sea. Robert Throgmorton funded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont, as Oakmont twice. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert Throgmorton was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered, because yep. he went fucking bonkers. He did go bonkers. I was hired to find any other expedition members, dead or alive. Throgmorton will be waiting for my return in his manor in Southern... Old Grove. Southern. <laughs> so wait, what? go back to that menu. There were other things. There's a key to the headquarters. That's the thing about that. And I guess that down there is just a stain. That's just a stain. So that doesn't help us at all. No. So are we supposed to go see Robert Throgmorton? Yeah, in... Um, Old Grove? Southern Old Grove. Southern. Oh, it's here. probably that one called the Throgmorton Manor, if I had to guess. Okay. I... Kukuyo Kalani subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the subscription. Alright. I'm getting out of here. And, um... It is tank top time. Cam, you know it's tank top time. It's so hot in New York City. And I feel as cool as a goddamn cucumber. I'm even wearing shorts. Do you know how hot it is for me to be wearing shorts? Julia's a regular shorts girl now. Jacob converted me to the world of shorts. Can you guys believe Julia would just go through New York summers just not ever wearing shorts for no reason? And then I was like, I came along into her life and I was like, hey, you can just wear shorts. And she was like, oh shit, you're right. I can though. And now, shorts for days. Shorts for days. It's a treat. They're comfy and easy to wear. They are comfy and easy to wear, I will say that. Uh, I'm gonna make a left on Mayflower Street. Long May They Rain wore a Ouija tank top, which sounds dope. Nice. And Marine Pixel put on a tank top in our honor. Nice. I am honored. Thank yes. you so much. The only regret I have about shorts is that I wish they could be even shorter. I think they're too long. Okay. Get them way up there. All right. You know what I'm saying? Did I make the correct turn? I think I did. Yeah! I, um, I didn't wear shorts for a long time because I had a stupid complex about my legs. But now, I just don't care. It's too hot to care about something so dumb. That's the correct way to approach most things, I find. That's how I approach most things? It is how you approach reason, most things. Me and shorts, I was so self-conscious about it. It was my last bastion of caring what other people thought. But the thing is, no one cares if you're wearing shorts or not. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter. They're, they never thought anything. That's true. I gotta make it right. Probably the only thing they thought is, if it was 100 degrees and you were wearing pants, they thought... Why, why is, is that girl wearing <laughs> pants? Why is Julia not wearing shorts? Yeah. I do want to wear Daisy Dukes, totes. I want some high top... That's what they call them. High top jorts. High top, yes. I want high top jorts. 
just gonna... Yeah, the, it's not good for leather chairs. If you have to sit in leather chairs, you don't want any skin touching that. That's very true. I'm gonna book it down this block. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, what's going on here? Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> no, thank you! That's cool and all, but no! You guys have fun! That's nice! We'll find a different way around. No, thank you. Okay, no, thank you. Thank you, bye. Can you go to the right? Why didn't I just do this? To Ambrose Street? That's what I was on. Oh, because that's a whole... So you're, that's a whole so infected area. So now if you area. swing a left, you can go up to Purity Road. Yeah, and, and I take that all go the way over. this. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I should have done that in the first place. I don't know why I didn't... I thought you, maybe... You were just, you know, exploring. You're having a good time playing a video game with your friends. Yeah, and I thought maybe I could get some experience by hanging out, but instead there was just a lot of bad boys. Sorry. Shaving Sorry. a haircut Sorry, says, everyone's legs are fine. Society is a butt. Don't let it make you feel bad. Yeah, that's true. That's correct, shaving a haircut. Everybody's legs are fine. And what I find is the most fine of all is having confidence in your own body. That's true. And if you do that, it's all good, man. Nobody cares. Only positive messages during this Lovecraftian horror game. Yeah. Maybe if these horrible fish monsters have more body positivity. Horrible fish <laughs> monsters. Maybe if these horrible, hideous, disgusting fish people. Wretched fish people. If these wretched, barfo fish people had more confidence, I wouldn't hate them so much. It's also fine if you don't wear shorts. Don't let me That's short. Also don't fine. let me short shame anyone who doesn't wear any shorts. I just didn't wear shorts for a very silly reason that didn't really matter. But the thing is, I did the same thing. I didn't wear shorts when I first moved to New York for like the first year. Do it whenever you're comfortable. Because I felt, you know, like silly about it or something. Yeah. And then the next year, I was like, oh, it turns out I don't care. I also didn't wear tank tops for a long time because oh, I thought that I wasn't hell? allowed to do that. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Who nothing cares? matters. Everybody dies and nothing what matters. What is happening? Oh, cool. Things are just coming at me. They need to clean up this river. They do. I guess everything just sunk recently. They probably haven't had the time or the means to get out here and... Well, clean it up before you call me over. Okay, now these are just people. But remember, don't point a gun at anyone. <laughs> if you point a gun at people, they will start shooting you. We've learned Who that. Are you? Who are you? Pyramid of Greatness subscribed and said, Hey guys, love all the new content you've been creating, i.e. draw detectives, draw good, draw good variety hour, etc. Y'all are doing wonderful things. Thanks. Thank you so much. We're excited about all the new stuff we're making. Look at this beautiful little gas station thingy over here. Oh, I really like that. There's a lot Ooh. of good, like, designy stuff in this game. Fast travel point. That's the yeah, shit. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, beautiful little little touches around this game. I really like the look of that gas station yeah, me sign. Too. It's, like, on an old, like, Victorian house, which is interesting. And I love this big thing over here. I do, that is a cool thing. Shaving a haircut said, oh, wow, this pro tag is just a Julia drawing, ain't he? Yeah, well, I put him specifically in this peacoat. In the most Julia outfit. Wow, look at the colors. Look at the lighting. Look at the lighting here. So hazy. What am I hitting? Oh, a it's car. a car. Look at it. Such beautiful lighting. Oh. G.F. Whitaker said this is Julia the game. Yeah, basically. Knock, knock. There's a detective at your door. Oh, I just barged in. Oh, Robert Throgmorton. Uh, Robert Throgmorton. The detective is here. I'm going to solve your, your mysteries. That guy's got a shotgun. Take it. I want it. Give it. Please. Wow. Ooh, yeah. This That's guy's got a lot of plants in his house. Look how beautiful it is in here. Is that a casket? It's a casket for his dead son. Ribby Subscribed to Tier 1. That was good. Thank you. I assume that's the correct pronunciation. I, well, I would have pronounced it as Ribby But you I, know, teach there. I'm pretty sure that's 
almost exactly what I did. No. There Maybe was some a, there subtle, was a slight difference there. Subtle differences. Hey, look, Jacob, we can finally play pool. Oh, nice. Even this guy's house has some just, like, dirty dog shit in it. It does have some dirty dog shit. Why is this lit? Who went into this basement and was like, this candle? This is going to provide the illumination we need <laughs> to do the, the important basement work. Um, I just love this room. Look how beautiful it is. Is that a casket? Yeah, it's his son. His son who got murdered because he's freaking nuts and then we... Is that where you, you put him? That's now, I like these him. shotgun boys. I know. I want these shotgun boys looks. They got a dope coat. They got a vest and a tie and a shotgun just slung over the shoulder with a bird above him. I want that. Instead, I'm like, I got, I'm, um, what's your face from Silent Hill 3? You know that feeling when you're like, you're dressed up nice and you're really feeling yourself and then you see someone that's wearing like a similar outfit but better? Yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck, I'm not actually dressed that nice, huh? I feel like that's the feeling oh, that, that he's got right now. I drew this basic exact chandelier for a room for draw detectives. Oh, yeah, you did. I remember seeing that. Um, he has the little, um, what's-her-face from Silent Hill 3 flashlight. Oh, yeah, Sabrina. Sabrina, yeah. That's not her name. Angela. Ashley. That's not her Heather. Heather. Got it. Got, got there. it. Got it in one. I'm there, baby. Well, even this room's got a lot of plants. Look at this beautiful room. Thank you, everyone, for saying that I'm always looking good. I appreciate that. You are always looking good. But there are some times where I'm just, like, not quite dressed up to the level of those around me, and I feel like I've, you know, underdone it. Sorry, he, his exclamation there uh, scared the bejesus out of me. Well, the door wouldn't budge, and that was pretty scary. Do you think Robert Throgmorton saw you come in his house and just start <laughs> wandering around, staring going, at all of his oh, shit? Oh, what a lovely room! <laughs> Look at these beautiful shotgun boys. Where'd you get these? I want this outfit for myself. I just threw that door open. Just, like, running around upstairs all willy-nilly. In loving memory, Robert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert. You uh, definitely missed Robert that and up. Robert and <laughs> <It's... laughs> Robert and sons. Uh, and this, this can't I'm going to take over. Oh, 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 and descendant of a robust bloodline died on Thursday at Oakmont Fort, aged 25 years. We mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. He was buck wild all the time, full horniness, 24-7. <laughs> The Throgmortons appreciate whatever it was that the sentence said at the end of it. <laughs> uh, Totes said, I have a place to live, but at the same time, I'm technically homeless. Same issue as I mentioned before a while back. If people could continue to keep me in their thoughts and or prayers, I'd appreciate it. Hope things get better, Totes. Sorry to hear about that, uh, that rough stuff. I got some Jacob stubble going on. Jacob stubble. He's got a very you beard. A me really beard. get in there. Why wow, is all his scars on his face? Yeah, what what happened there? Shaving accidents. <laughs> He's really bad them. at shaving that one spot. No one taught him how to shave. Can we talk to Robert Throgmorton, please? I'm not in the mood for change. Oh, we can't. <laughs> what does he want then? And were you supposed to come here? Wait, didn't we have a key to something? The expedition's headquarters. That's where we're supposed to go. Northern cover side at the crossroad of Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. So, northern cover side, Asher Road, Hubert Avenue. Is that it there? No, but it is, like, right here. The northern side. Yeah. Let's mark it. Let's mark it with danger. Because <laughs> it could be. Could be. We don't know if it's dangerous or not. Sup? Where's danger? Bloopity Schmoo said, This man is just your guy's son, let's be honest. Yeah. Kinda. We wouldn't raise such a loser. <laughs> this entire town should be marked danger. Malicious machinations. It's true. <laughs> Boop. 
let's go find the expedition headquarters. Dominique Fenn said, Jacob, could you please store those firearms away? Absolutely not. I have a right to bear arms. Here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good. It's the guns. Yeah. Or my arms. Yeah. My arms are guns. Look at this boat that just got stuck on the side of the building. Alright, I'm going. What are you carrying? Can I have it? Hello. That's just another sad stick man. What are you doing? Doing what yoga? Doing preaching? Oh. <laughs> you opened the menu. Yeah. Okay, it's behind me. It's behind you to the west. Suits and top. Excuse, this is excuse me. Shit. Oh, suits and top coats. You said oh. shoots. Shoots. I want shoots it. Shoots and top coats. Shoots and top coats. Guys, uh, we've been watching Kuroko's basketball, and um, the English they got for that anime. They didn't hire, like, so one of the characters is supposed to be from America, and every so often he encounters, like, other Americans that he grew up with. They got, like, Australians. Yeah, all the Americans sound and Australian. British. And it is, Ooh. oh, hello. It's very funny to me. Because he's, like, there's a whole, like, scene we just saw of, like, one of the guys, like, flying to L.A. And yeah. he's playing basketball with this dude in L.A. who's like, Oi, Kagami! What's the matter? <laughs> Tired already? Here in America, we love the biscuit ball. I'm born and raised in born LA. Born and raised, Los Angeles, California. Oh, here it is. Found it. It cracks me up. It's very good. The anime is not dubbed uh, Gorthan Land. They. They, like, literally go to America in the anime. And so yeah. it's all in Japanese, but then there are parts where they're English-speaking characters and they actually speak English. They, they, it's just not regionally reflective of where they are at all. Okay. He's supposed to be like, I'm from, uh, like, I'm from Hollywood. And said he's like, I'm from Hollywood, I am. <laughs> Serafina XM subscribed to Tier 1. Thank you so much, Serafina. Jacob Please No said, Julia looks like a Wall Street power broker on vacation at the beach with their boy toy, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Dangers of diving. Oh. Did you want to read that? I was reading it in my head. It's, it does, did it matter? No. Okay. It was talking about, like, the, the stuff. <gasps> Clock. Someone smashed it. Who would do I'll this? I'll fix it. I'll fix it. It's a Victrola. Let me fix it. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Oh, I can fix it. Are a few damp papers all that's left to me? What's happening to my... Whoa. Are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition? Is there a... Uh... I got a wobbly bird. There's a ghost slug. No, it's a bird. Oh, follow the bird. Wherever it turds. Bird went up the stairs. That's, that's scaring me. Where bird? It just told me to go upstairs? Really, bird? I was going to do that eventually. Go upstairs! <laughs> H. Doe, anthropologist. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its rank, Professor Harriet Doe. Her brilliant discoveries about the origin of Inuit tribes have added a new page to the history book of humanity. Now, Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood, and in doing so, shed light on what may yet be to come. Now get out of here! What's this? What's that? A school. It's no, a it's a rock. A skull rock. Oh. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. The earth. They glitter in a weird way. You want to read some fisherman reports? No. All right. That gem was found by a bunch of fishermen. Go. Oh. <laughs> Just uh, help myself to your metal scrap. Thank you for the metal scrap. Why? <laughs> Another drawer full of fish. 
I don't know why people are suffering in this town. There are so many fish. Y'all can everyone, just eat the fish. Instead of, like, storing them anywhere, they just put them in boxes and drawers and leave them out. How to protect? How to protect? How to protect? How to protect? According to our data, the places with paranormal activity have a strong, previously unidentified influence on the human mind. We've prepared a list of solutions, including meditative practices and a supply of sedatives to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend discarding all those charms, amulets, and religious symbols which are of no use and applying these scientifically valid methods of protection instead. H. Doe? H. Doe? Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Spooked it. Nice. They had one bullet in there. Just in case. Just in, in case. case of emergency. That's not what I wanted to do. Hey, uh, Boyd? Where's the Boyd? Boyd? Uh, Serafina XM said, I'm finally in the correct time zone to watch your stream. Thank you so much for everything. I received so much courage and inspiration from both you and all the Droppy family. Well, thank, thank you, you. Serafina. That's so nice of you to say. What the fuck, Boyd? He was going up the stairs before. I thought so. Have you opened that? No. Because I followed the Boyd. There's alcohol in there. Nice, booze. In a briefcase. Briefcase booze. A briefcase full of alcohol. Alright, bird, what the what the hell do you want? Huh? Oh. Okay, okay. Now let's look at that last bird. It's facing the right. Invisible wall? Whoa! 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 Whoa. <laughs> Homeboy's pointing a gun at me. I think you were having an insanity moment. Miss Moira, darling, subscribed with Twitch Prime. Oh, thank you, Miss Moira, darling. Moira, darling. Oh, that spooked me. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> he did wave it away. He's just like, no, no come on, stop. It. stop. There's a prop alert down here. Partially burned cargo manifest. The following must be deliver unreadable. Grimhaven Bay no later than Friday. Just a bunch of shit. Diving suit. It's just a bunch of diving equipment, personal belongings, equipment, blah, blah, blah. New mine palace clue. What, um... Hello? Who's Can I help you? I won't hesitate. I won't hesitate, bitch. Oh! oh! Who's that? Hey! Hey! What? Oh, no! Ah, I pointed a gun at him! I forgot about the rule of this game! You're gonna have to blast his ass. If he steps to you, he's gotta die. Where's he going? <laughs> no, I hear him running around. <laughs> <laughs> He's really scrambling. I forgot that I can't jokingly point a gun at anyone. <laughs> oh yeah, how do I shovel? Um. <laughs> <laughs> He's panicking. There yeah! he is! <laughs> You're gonna have to get him. <laughs> 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 You're gonna have to get his ass. Come here, old man. <laughs> <laughs> He's just tip tapping around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna have to step out there in order to, like, summon him. He's coming down. <laughs> I think he's just running around upstairs. 
Oh, he's about to come down. I know it. There he is! Get him! Damn fish guy down here. Should I, like, reload? I mean, he was running. I wonder if he's gonna attack you anyways. Who is Nick? 2046. Oh. I didn't see. I can't see. <laughs> Should I reload? Is he supposed to, um... I don't think you can, like, murder important NPCs. Alright. I say we live with the decisions you've made. You know, you made some calls, you made some choices. There's a diving helmet here, you can look at it. I guess this helmet's beyond repair. Everything's beyond repair to you. Have you tried? More things are fixable than you think. Yeah, every time he, every time he sees something, he's like, no one could fix this. <laughs> Literally impossible. If I can't do it, no one can. Go to your mind palace. You had a clue. I have nothing to connect it with. The cargo from the expedition was taken to the Grimhaven Bay Pier. So maybe I should do that? So that's probably the next place to go. But there was like a, a goopy swooper up I'm so sorry, dude. Up top. What's that? That? Yeah. I think that's where the bird is. Is that where the bird is? is? It, oh! No. Yes! Enter. We must determine the order of events. Grab the papers. Slash the rest. Grab the papers. Okay, so grab the papers, smash the rest. Got it. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. So they kicked in the door. So they put the wall up? Yeah, it looks like they did the, the thing and they were carrying the stuff down here. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. I hate ads. I hate ads. Okay. Make sure you install an ad blocker. So, door kicky downy. Grab the papers. Can we raise the volume for the game a bit? I sure can. Whoop. Tell me if that's better for you. Door kicky downy. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers. Grab Smash the, papers. the rest. This they, they did the thing. The door. I fata. They said I fata for la for la. And then this man just hates ads. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. But they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Uh oh. Spooky. Scary. Coming to get ya. Okay, let's mine palace. They burned all the expedition archive, even the newspapers. The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. There might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. So we go to the library. Could go to the library, could also go to Grimhaven Bay. I mean, yeah. Should we go to the library? Murdered no. a fish man for no reason? He, I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good joke. Uh, don't mind us. Dominic Fenn said, either way, you have to leave the scene of the crime. <laughs> oh, I didn't get... It's yellow. It says key evidence collected. I know, but usually it's green. Is it? When we finish the thing, I think. Is it? Can you look at other ones you finished? Does that mean... On the map? No, I tried looking for it and I didn't see any. I think it goes away. Well, first of all, I can get rid of danger. Um. So are you trying to go to the library? Or are you trying to go to Grimhaven Bay? I'm going to go to the library because I want to see... 
You want to see sewed up mouth woman? Well, yeah, I'm going to look at the chronicle and then I'm trying to make sure there's no like boxes to open. Malicious machinations said maybe because the dead guy had some crucial some not crucial evidence. You know, I admit what I did was wrong. <laughs> It wasn't a good decision. Listen, as much as I know you want to run to every single corner of this building. All right, I'm going. We have the things we need to continue. All right, library. Let's go to the brary. The Oakmont Chron Oh, that's where we need to go, the Oakmont Chronicle. Yeah, oh, Not right. the library. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, there we go. People in chat are just screaming, I forgot about the soda up mouth lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, we don't have to go visit the soda up mouth lady after all. Not at this time. Why are you guys talking about a Jonas Brothers song in chat? My name is Jonas. And these are my bros. <laughs> oh, I got a new, uh... Teleportation point. What does this ad say? Uh, Come and take it. It was Cam's fault. Oh my god. Look at this ad. I would see this Come and take it from my cold dead. Is that Archer? <laughs> this is how you hold a gun. You want to try to get it as close to your rib cage as possible. Come and take it from my cold, dead hands. What's I'm up? I'm here. <laughs> hey. I'm here. All right, put the printing press right by the door. I like that. The old papers are by the door. Take okay. Them and stop bothering me already. I, I just got here. Got me confused. Yeah, stop bothering her. <laughs> Aren't you a newcomer? You just showed up and already you're bothering her. Help me out here. What's the connection between? I have not heard "Sucker" by the Jonas Brothers, Cam. Otherwise, I would Gerard weigh in on this. And they come to collect the old newspapers for a But I have to listen to it. Yeah, guess I am a new. I'll listen to it and get back Charles to you. Charles Reed, private investigator, and I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor and fuck off? Give me an exclusive interview. <laughs> and stop bothering you won't me. Regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. <laughs> Articello said, "I thought Jacob was gonna say, come and take it from my cold dead ass.' <laughs> Which I, you quote. I wish I'd said it, because that's, that's funny to me." Already. I imagine the picture oh, is just like absolutely. a dude like doing a full you know, handstand with a pistol by, squeezed between his butt cheeks. But he is looking. He's back looking over his you. shoulder like. Mm. I'm a former Navy diver, served on the USS Cyclops, and well, after the war, found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Nice joke, Helen. We'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? Is Helen flirting with us? And now she's supposed to be interviewing us, but she's kind of doing both. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Because I'm picking up what she's putting down. I've been investigating disappearances all around Massachusetts. The missing people all seem to have ended up here for some reason. Hmm. The mystery of the newcomers. And you want to know why they're here? Who are you? They aren't very Biscuit Quasar subscribed most of them are thinking straight for 10 months. I think Thank you that's so much enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. You asked me three questions. Thank you for this is going to be the shortest article Mr. ever. My pleasure. You didn't record any of it or write any of it down. Make the papers again. I think this was flirting. I think this is just flirting. See you later. Extra, oh, you're gonna extra. be in the papers now. You're gonna be in the papes. Get me in the damn papes. 
Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's working on his core. I'm, I'm reading this paper. He's either working on his core or he's got a real big ass. Oh! oh. Okay, now it's back on a normal reading position. Not like a, I'm hiding behind a paper position. Oh, it went up again. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm ashamed. Oh, what am I doing? Boats? Grimhaven Bay? Can you look there? Isn't that where the thing is? So we need three criteria. Can you add, like, do district and section? They said to burn the ads. So yeah. let's do ads. Uh, would this be after the flood? Wait, let's, <laughs> let's look at... Yeah, let's look at our things here. Ads about the freighter. Newspaper advertisements. So definitely Scientific an ad. research, interviews with locals... Freight and cargo manifest. Okay. Elam said he's sitting like the man's wife in the Sherlock game. <laughs> Which is true. Apparently it's a thing this developer yeah. has a struggle with. Okay. So definitely ads we need to look up. And it said commoners, didn't it? Can you try different periods? Son of a bitch. Is Grimhaven Bay wrong? No, I thought you were right. I mean, that's where they said that the stuff went to. Well, let's... Uh, Lumpy Mother said, on the newspaper desk screen, you choose evidence on the left. Are you right? Thank you. Thank you, Lumpy Monster. So, ads about the freighter. Yeah, so Grimhaven Bay. Ads. Okay, now that we have that evidence on the left thing, maybe. Yeah, Aha! thank you. The 30 ton ship Titania is currently available for hire. You will find it fully equipped for transport, as well as the aiding of underwater ventures and exploration for the price of 70 rifle bullets, or the equivalent thereof, per week. Those interested are urged to contact Captain Jeremiah Sanders for contracting details. He can be found at Pier 3, Oakmont Port, Grimhaven Bay. Pier 3, Oakmont Port, Grimhaven Bay. Let's go, gamers. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Trying to break the toilet? This isn't Thief Simulator. I see you. Let's uh. Let's uh. He's like, ooh, me? <laughs> Who, me? He's trying to protect his eyes. Couldn't be. Don't mind me, just seeing if you have any stuff to loot. Just exploring your whole office. Julia Lepetit, professional toilet destroyer. It's real squishy up here. They probably have a bunch of fish stored up here for no reason. Oh! Yep. I knew it. Got your gunpowder. And your casings. Should you make some bullets? Sup? <laughs> I really wish someone was at this desk. Uh, yeah, probably. Noise. You are the only other person who works here, madam. She has her typing gloves on. Why don't you just work downstairs with the other woman? Maybe they don't get along. Maybe Helen told her to stop bothering her. Is this Helen's office? Helen. She's got trophies in here. A skull, A skull painting. Painting. A stramogram. A stramogram, yeah. It's got a stramogram for, you know, gramming Stramming. all your strams. Gramming on your strams. 
And then she makes Linda come work up here by herself while she stands down here at the desk. Alright, I don't see anything stealable. Let's get out of here. I took all your valuables. Goodbye! Oh my god! Be ready! Punch a snake! Or an octopus arm, <laughs> Punch I guess. a tentacle if you must. Um, okay. So. Grimhaven Bay. Oakmont City Port. Right? Yeah. Q3. <laughs> Is, I, I see you find this thrilling. I am thrilled. I am. I am. I am thrilled. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to go to Old Church Road, take a boat, and go down. Elim said, fussling bungus and the stramming grams. Oh, beautiful. That man just okay. waved a bird into the air. <laughs> you just should launch that bird straight up into the sky. Everyone here is magic. Dun, 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 dun. What are you sending me, Cam? Oh, you're working on come and take it from my cold dead ass. Good. This is a good handstand pose. It is a good handstand pose. Those are hard to do. But this is more of like an elegant handstand. I, I was thinking more of like a you know rough and tumble. A rude. Handstand. A rude handstand, really ass forward. Ass forward. Really ass focused. Where's my boat? Whoa. Don't make me cap you. How does everyone know you're a newcomer straight away? What is this? Are you guys cool with this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like a cat rat. It's a wretched cat rat. Oh, it's shaking and twitching. <laughs> Why is the head like that? Why is the head doing that? What does it want? Why do you have a stick backpack? Why is the boat not here? I want this boat back. Hello, give me the boat back, please. Oh, I did not mean to actually go in here because I don't know if I can get out. I got out. Well, is this this is not a boat dock, is it? I thought it was. Well, the boat's over there. God damn it. Oh, you know what? I'll go in the house and just take the other boat. Go in the house and take the other boat, I say. I think that might have been the terrible fetus. It just became a, a cat rat. Where do people get all their tribal tats in this town? I don't know. Do you think they do it themselves? I also definitely would like to point out that this town is enormous. Yeah, it's huge. And there's no way it would have been, like, so destitute <laughs> with, like, the quality of it pre-flood. But now that all the mackerel are gone... Yeah, because they're in people's houses. Because everyone put the mackerel in their homes. Uh-oh. Oh. Hi. Did you just bust in here? Where are you? Oh, the, oh that's the hotel. the hotel. This is your hotel that you stay in. Yeah. Okay. Um... I want this boat. Uh, doom, doom, left, doom, 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 and then a left, and then a right. Left and a left and a right, and you'll be right there, friend. Bloopity Shmoo said maybe the real terrible fetus was HP Lovecraft. I think that's yeah, probably right. probably right. He was a bad person. He was made some beautiful things does not excuse the terribleness I opened the map don't worry I do get worried every time you do that yeah um, I have heard you know people sort of petitioning to say that like instead of referring to things as like Lovecraftian horror we should shift over to saying cosmic horror and I dig that that's cool Let's remove the bad racist 
from the the thing he started. That person just T posing over here? Oh yeah, they were. Another T poser. Oh, oh my god. Oh dang. Oh, it went away immediately. Pinterest blows. Can I just say that? If you don't have a Pinterest, Pinterest blows. If you don't have a Pinterest account, it's the worst site to see and go to. Because it showed it to me, then immediately flicked it away to something else, and then wouldn't let me return. I don't know why I did this. I just wanted to check your spooky site, see if you saw anything. What's this person doing? Hey, what you doing? Can I get up, please? What the hell? Eldritch is a good word. I'm a big fan of the word Eldritch. You just sitting with a baby doll in your backpack? I would point to it with my gun, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that. Do not point with your gun. People don't like it when you point guns at them. Yeah. You have a camera you can use to look at things. But it's not... I can use, like, a crosshair to point when I use a gun. The camera has a crosshair. The camera. How did that fish man know I pulled a gun on him? He wasn't looking at me. He could feel it. His fish sense. They know when someone's aiming a gun at them. Under the keel. Under the keel. Okay, what? can't go down to the Close keel up anymore. Close up the damn bar. Where am I actually supposed to be going? It's supposed to be like... Hold on. Elam said that I'm the reason they know the word untenable, Pure and that three. makes me happy. I do say untenable a lot. That's the next one. But things are often untenable, and someone has to point that out. That's true. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why are we yelling? We're That's the man that was in the water before, <laughs> complaining about with the woman about the yes. mackerel. Was he just standing in this box screaming? Oh. <laughs> screaming? He is. I hid here. These walls won't stand up to them. Cam wants to know how big a foot size should be. A foot size is the size of a foot of your head. One it's also long. the size of between your um, when you bend your arm up. It's the size between your elbow and your wrist. It's one foot long. So it's this big. That is the size of a foot. It's also the size of your head. I didn't know any of that. I just wing it when I draw feet. Sometimes I like to make them real big, or sometimes I like to make them real small. That's just what, what fun creatures? for me. That's a little Jacob fun. Wild beasts. They came to feast on the blood. They eat the dead. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? Uh, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. Ah! <laughs> Combat, more information. God damn it. If you're crouched, they're less likely to detect you. I went crouching through that whole spooky lady's house. The tattoo on my forearm is a golden compass tattoo. It's the, uh... Illustration Philip Pullman did for the last chapter of the last book in the, in the main trilogy. The more you know. I knew that. You knew that. Why did you tell me that again? I don't know. Um. All right. Am I just shooting things now? Is that what he asked me to do? It's time to put that gun in between them cheeks and get to blasting. All right. Go in a crouch. <laughs> I love his crouch walk. <laughs> it's very dance like. Da, 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 da. Oh, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. You sneak up on him and shovel him? If that's stupid, you can tell me. He's seen you. Get him. Get him. Get shoveled, motherfucker. Oh. Oh. 
Shovel him. Swing away. What the? I hit you. Die. Oh, that was the harbor it. has been cleared. <laughs> Great. What's that? A gun? <laughs> I was thinking of Revolver Ocelot. Oh, I'm thinking of... What is this thrill? Three, two, one, let's jam. Who are you? Shot dead. Point blank. You think it was the gun that done it? Oh, hello. Oh, that man was holding his face open. You think you'd want to hold it closed. Typically. This man now got scared? Oh. He got to be out of your head to do this to a man. He got two axes in him. Oh, hello. Grind, you know what I mean? Oh, it's me. Can you look at the corpse? Yeah, I'm trying to get some of my sanity back. Can you look at the torse corpse? Oh, the monster sure didn't think behind much. That didn't affect your sanity at all, looking at that torso. I saw it actively recovering while you did that. All right, we have our box of fish. I know, it's just close. What's that? Who's that? They were in high spirits. And plenty of them were drinking. And they had a couple fish on the table, as they always did. Oh, someone's talking about the terror before? Yeah, Jacob and I are watching the terror. We're working yeah, through it. Yeah, we're, uh... Ooh. That's a cursed item, I would this say. This is definitely a cursed item. That's Should something you don't bring on a boat. In any collection. The terror is very good. Cape Cod. More marks here, but they've been erased. Erased? How could they? Oh, nice. We got some pinups. That's some boobies. Let's get there. horny on a oh boat. Oh my god. Dude, people on boats love to get horny. They're so horny on boats. Wait, that was something else. There's a note. Yeah. Time charter contract. I, Captain Jeremiah Sanders, hereby agree to take on board my vessel, Titania, any persons designed by... Designated. Designed by Robert Rob Morton, and the cargo detailed in the uh, attached manifest. <laughs> Attached. <laughs> Please continue. As well as to provide them with any and all necessary assistance up to and including depth measurements. Jesus Christ. <laughs> as well as diving support and underwater exploration and marine life observations. Aforementioned services will take place in confidential locations in Cod Bay. Afterwards, the Titania will provide transport for all passengers to the Oakmont port. Compensation will be 70 bullets. Titanium, more like titania, am I right? I guess. Did you not like my reading? It was so bad. <laughs> That's the end of my sentence. <laughs> Is there something up at the front? What? Someone just asked if we oh, watched Gun lit, Gale. Strangely, we have. Like, they're asking if I had watched Gun Gale. I apologize. Have you? And yes, I'm the one who told Julia to watch Gun Gale. Yeah. And we watched true. it together, and we had a delightful time. We did have a delightful. May time. I add? Underwater fun guy party subscribed and said that they're late, but hope that we're having a good night. I have really bad news. Cam said, Jake, would you be disappointed if, if instead of giving that. this handstand friend hands, I just gave them two sets of feet? And I would be just thrilled. I'd be just delighted. Uh, you can't take me! Oh, he threw the axe, and he shot the gun at the same time. What wins? Axe versus gun, the age-old conflict. Gun. To the mayor with you. To the mayor? To the mayor. Die. What's happening here? 
So people were coming in and attacking the boat people, it looks like. No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum. We ain't allowed Let's rum. Get a handle on what actually happened. So it started here, I bet. Yeah. If there's no more rum, things are about to get No more drink. Wild. So then this All we've seen. then this. Are you telling me we ain't allowed to the mayor with you? Yeah. Die, die. Ah. You can't take me. Eat this. For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. They sure did. Well, the reason is no more rum. The reason is no more rum. Mind Palace. Scoop a doop. I should go talk to that dude. Yeah, you should. Because he said he had deets for you. What? That's not what I intended to climb on at all. <laughs> Which was like nothing. What's that? Let me look through this fish garbage. Somebody threw away their shell casings. That's a crime. To the mayor with ya. Starby, what have you sent to me? I've dealt with the creatures. Now, oh, it's come and take it from my cold sense. dead ass. Oh, the, the face, too. Very good. I like this uh, straight upright handstand. <laughs> yeah. What happened Excellent to work. Titania? It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. The sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water. And then, well, then the wild beasts came to feast. I love that this guy was hiding from, like, two of those little dudes that you can kill easily with a shovel. Yeah. Like, he could have done that. What kind of man is This he? Bernie Sanders. Uh, newcomer. Seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treat him as that sounds about right, Bernie Sanders. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh, did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I bet my life no one else made He came that. in here promising Medicare for all. <laughs> and I just don't see how it's feasible. Who's paying for it? Mind Palace. Enter the Mind Palace. Who are you? Who are you? The Bat Pope! The Bat Pope! Been fostering a rescue dog and her puppies and had to say goodbye to her yesterday because it's time for her to go. Luckily, I've had Droppy and SSS bots to cheer me up. Glad we could cheer you up, the Bat Pope. Sorry you had to say goodbye to your doggy. The harbor master saw Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the fight on the third pier of Grimhaven Bay was a man badly wounded in the shoulder. Captain Sanders is the wounded man and is now seeking medical aid. Nice try. Nice try. Loser. Me. Me. Totes, we have seen a silent voice. It it's, was my favorite manga when it came out. It was Julia's favorite manga when it came out, and the movie was excellent. The movie is so good. The animation was top notch. I read the manga, like, when I was in college, and Medical. it... Medical. 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 And it, um... I want to fast transport. Is there a way I can do that around here? Um... I... had basically a panic attack when I first read it. Hit too close to home, yeah. But that, oh my god, it's back! It's been following you. What is this? What? What is passing overhead right now? <laughs> Lights. Um. Yeah, Silent Voice hit a little too close to home at points. It's super good. I don't remember there being any, like, phone booths or anything over here. Yeah, right? I mean, I explored here. I was wondering if I just missed it. Possible. 
anything is possible. I would love for there to be... Uh, oh. Got one! Nice! Oh my god, look at this guy. What's that say? Cinque Pani. Look at his face! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to point my gun. I'm sorry! Don't point your gun! I'm sorry! Can you just get your camera out just to be safe? Oh, yeah. This way you can't point your gun. And look we can, at him! We can look at things. Look at him. Look at his face. Hey, up. Cinque Pani! The little drifting eyeball. The little drifting eyeball is so good. I love the two front teeth. Anyway, amazing. I pressed the wrong button. Nope, press the wrong button again. Alright, so we're gonna go up to the hospital. The yeah. hospital. So, what's actually the fastest way that I could do this? Maybe this one, and then just go over? Seems like a good option. I mean, they're pretty equidistant. Go to Coverside West. Yeah, okay. Local Robin said, Yo, first stream on this channel I've caught. Love Lovecraft stuff, and this is one of my favorite adaptations. Granted, some things are a bit on the nose, but oh well. Yeah. But I'm digging it so far. I just, I love the atmosphere. Yeah. And it's I like the very the free exploration of the town mm -hmm. and how you have to like figure some things out on your own, like where to go and putting on map markers and it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, Silent Voice is about this um boy who when he's a, a kid bullies this little girl, this deaf little girl in his class because he like, it was cool to bully her, and it, like, everyone else was kind of making fun of her and talking about her behind her back, and he was, like, more just upfront about the bullying, and he thought that it would make him fit in. And then she has to leave because of him, and, you know, he got the repercussions from that, and then he realizes what a terrible person he was. So he, um, grows up, and he kind of tries to make up for it. And it's very interesting about... Like, forgiveness, and I'm going the wrong direction. You're over here talking about your Japanese animes, <laughs> and you're ignoring the crisis right in front of you. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's very interesting about kind of the, the morals of bullying and trying to make up for it, and if you really can, and kind of what she's going through and what he's going through, and what... Oh, he's wearing a bucket hat. He's cooking a rat. He's cooking a rat, wearing a bucket hat. Wearing a hat and cooking a rat, and where's that man going? Oh, there's a box up there. Uh, APMS has posted a link where you can help support the Kyoto Animation people. Uh, they were recently had a... Why are you almost dead? There was an attack at the Kyoto Animation Studios, arson. Yeah. And um, some people, unfortunately, died. A lot of people injured. Yep. And, um, yeah, bad scene. One of the few animation studios to treat their employees right. Okay. So... And okay. If I can even go this way, can I go this way? Wow. <laughs> I did not think you were going to be able to make it over that. Yo, me neither. What's over here? That's an infested area. That's cool. Goodbye. Oh, I see a fast travel marker over here. I want to get it. Oh, I see it. Was the door stuck or something? Did you forget your key? <laughs> you can just go in. I'm sure it's fine. Sometimes it just be What's like that. What's the story that. here? I think we've all had one of those days, you know? Where you just like, 
it's kind of the last straw. Like maybe yeah. you maybe you dropped your key or maybe you just missed like the lock and you scratched the door. You know, just something. And it's just like the final straw and you're just like, God, I'm just gonna cry out in the open. Just gonna weep for a while. Just gonna openly weep. Sometimes you gotta get it out. I feel that shit. Oh yeah. Bonk. If you feel like you gotta openly weep, openly weep, y'all. You'll be better for it. Patient or visitor. Hold oh! Hold oh my God, he's jacked. Hello, uh, strong doctor. He looks like a. Why do his arms look a little too short? <laughs> he looks like a what's his face from Full Metal. Armstrong. Armstrong, yeah. Wait, look at his arms when you talk to him. My head. He looks like he's like no two kids in a trench coat. Well, you're the exception these days. We're simply overflowing with patients. Something I can help with? It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. He does look like he's made of three different people. In close contact with the wilds. Is that going to be a problem? I'm not afraid. I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. I frankly okay. love facing men and beasts. You can see it in your eyes. Love it. Well, I'm actually it very into it. To study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. Hmm. <laughs> what have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Why can't you visit him? Because you're too busy. <laughs> Those hideous ratchers. What could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Love it. Find out what Look happened. at his tiny arms. <laughs> so wide. <laughs> they're just like this. Like his elbows are always right at his side and they're like moving like this. Like he's... It looks like he's stuffed clothes into the front of his shirt to make him look bigger. Yeah, to make him look big and he's just like... Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Sir. Okay. Um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. Why is he you, such a dick now? You don't have, like, any archives. memory of someone with an axe wound? Bye. Bye. So I guess you can look through their archives, he said. You can steal their, <laughs> steal their shit. I fully intend to steal their shit. Hello! Uh, Where do you keep all your patients? Is maybe my question. Clear, clear water! water. Yeah, my just uh, stuff in a coffin there. Stuff in a coffin. Mm-hmm. Thanks. So we need the patient wards. The patient wards. Okay, can you just like find the guy in here? Who are you? What happened to you, mister? Pete. Explosion. Fishing with dynamite. Oh, it hurts talking. Why are you standing? I'm sorry. I'll get better soon. <laughs> so you didn't want to ask him about the port thing, huh? Well, it hurt him to talk. Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eating leeches ever again. No That's sword. probably a good call, yeah. I would say so. There are houses filled with fish! There's so many fish. Thank you. Got my bank going. He has three patients. He's like, I don't have time. I'm swamped. And he's not like attending to any of them. That guy's just a snoozing. Can you go? What happens if you go to snoozing guy? Let me rest. He's like a mountie. <laughs> Came down from Canada. America sucks, eh? All sucks. All flooded here. 
Dude, everyone's got fishes in their houses. Not really very partial to it, to be honest. Yeesh. What happened to your shirt? Aha! Uh, That's stuff. the man. Uh, bar brawl. Gun came out. He, he looks like a Jedediah. Who are we looking for? Jebediah Sanders. Something I can help you with? Jeremiah Sanders. I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. This you guy's bullshitting us. Get better soon. Scratch me. Please, please. Just here. This itching is driving me insane. Scratch me. Why are you wearing like a full jacket? Hello, ma'am. Oh, she you doesn't, not, she doesn't want to. She's looking me. through a, a thing. Do steal her belongings, though. Thank you. So you need to find the patient archives. Where are those? Like I know. I'm just like, you know, saying so Like I know. So we're on the same page here is what we're looking for, you know what I'm saying? I mean it's definitely that guy. It's definitely that guy. I had no doubt in my mind that it's that guy. You know how patients just like to stand around and succumb to their wounds? Oh, I'm so wounded. Better stand up next to my bed and just hurt. Just hurt. Where are your archives? Is that them right there? Where it says archive? Shut up. Shut up. I remember to choose the right evidence. I think this is it. We want patients, probably surgery, Grimhaven Bay. We're not in Grimhaven Bay anymore. Are That's we? where he came from. You think that would be? Peter Crowley. Multiple burns and fragmentation wounds of the chest and face as a result of an explosion. 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 Uh, Joseph Willow, deep cut wound to the left shoulder, broken collarbone, fractured scapula, wound stitch, fractured satin bandage, no trace of infection, evident prognosis, good. But it says it's a deep cut wound. He said he got shot. Mm. That motherfucker's lying. You bullshit me. Why are you lying? You bullshit me. Why are you always lying? Not you. No, he's fine. I don't care about you. He doesn't want to talk. You. Why are you always lying? The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the death His wound. pecs are so well defined Oops. under this tape. Yeah, the nips I'm especially. Asking questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed. Private eye. Charles Reed. What Morton wants to know what happened to his lost Reed. expedition. Private eye. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. Don't make me cap you. I think it'd be an understatement. Oh, very to good, say Cam. Very good. Let's get horny on a boat. <laughs> there are things that should never love the typography at play here. The Daisy Dukes. I only wish I'd known that. Day. Excellent work. None of them deserved what happened to them. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He went totally he bazonkos. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what, what makes a man yours? decide that he wants a beard, but very much no mustache whatsoever? No thank you. No I thank you. Not strict, even a hint. <laughs> strict rules. I ordered a rescue attempt. They threaten mutiny. I just want, like, when you have, like, a hairstyle on top, I want that down here, too. Yeah. Just another one down there. So if I turn my head upside down, I can confuse people. Tell me As to which one's the top and which dive. is the bottom. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. Not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. I don't think he's Amish, you guys. They returned with Albert. <laughs> But I don't think the Amish typically become captains of boats. And 
work with divers. And drink rum. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. No, it's the plot hey, of the Meg now. Talking to Bog says that was that's them, hard. and the mustache goes into the drinks, we and that's why they don't keep a mustache. That's Things. fair. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters. Mark my words. I never in a million years would have a beard. Nugget Maver said ex Amish but loved the look. Before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Did you just say you would never in a million why? years have a beard? No. I would have like a beard like you. I could probably confirm that that is the despair. case. You I mean, if I were a dude. Never have a beard. <laughs> dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. What happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then, then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. What were you looking for underwater? Spooky oh, water shit. Oh, this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks in the seabed. <laughs> They were working on some Flex Buck is in and saying, let Julia grow a beard. <laughs> I'm not stopping her from doing it. She can have one if she wants one. This is all correct. I just think she might find some, some walls she runs up against in the attempt at this, at this juncture. Like the fact that she can't physically do it right now. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No. No. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. My men got theirs oh. from a local factory. I didn't mean factory. to press the device. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Never in a million years will I let you. Oh, you want to buy some? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me Here write the address. Here's for all you. the information. Where's the law? Here's the money. Titania. Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Get better soon. Okay, bye. Sorry about all your stuff. Should we go investigate these dudes that this jerk doctor wants us to investigate? Yeah, let's go investigate his uh, stupid, shitty patients. Okay. That we hate. Field research. Yeah. Windheim Street. Salvation Harbor, Windheim Street. South of Polaris Road. Okay. Where is Salvation Harbor? Probably south, I imagine. Near where the harbors are. Windheim Street. Windheim Street. Windheim Street. Windheim Street. There's Polaris. And it's on Windheim, south of Polaris. Oh, here. Oh, it's just a little street. So it's there somewhere. Okay. So let's... Do you want to mark the other one while we're here? Yeah. Whoa, Jesus, God, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the Infected Man. Salvation Harbor, Moreland Road, between Higgs and Benevolent Tides. Between Higgs and Benevolent Tides. Between Higgs and Benevolent Tides. Northern Salvation Harbor. That's the shells. Where the fuck? I don't see this shit anywhere.
Ah. I was just making sure there wasn't like a literally a northern Salvation Harbor. It's the big one, Zerdalin says. Oh, Moreland Road is what we're looking for. Higgs. There's Moreland, between Higgs and Benevolent Tides, wherever that may be. There's Benevolent Tides, so it's here. On Moreland, between those two. So, super northern. Okay. I'm gonna fast travel. We got it. We're there. Buckeye Gamer, from the Lying Amish Captain, we got the info about where they got their diving suits, mm -hmm. as well as what they were trying to find, which was the cause of all the bad shit. Yes. Did we learn anything else from him? I don't know. <laughs> Great. No, I think that's it. Balilasov, welcome back from London. Welcome and back, back to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Sounds like everyone's having water problems. GF Whitaker's house is flooded. Awful. Because of a pipe. Awful. And AP Mess has mold all over their bathroom. No. Gross. Hate mold. Mold will kill me. There's a lot of things that will kill you. Yeah. Like lightning. That's true. Big rocks. Wolves. Lightning didn't kill my ancestors, so maybe not. So do you think that makes you immune to lightning? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, this place looks beat to fuck. Okay. I'm getting ready for a fight. Because fights are bad in this game. Get into your fighting posture. Uh. <laughs> your battle cry, so terrifying. Uh. Infected man's residence. Get ready to blast ass if you have to. Put that gun in between your cheeks. And tell them what they'll have to do to get it from you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I shoot it? I don't know. Uh oh! There's barfers in this house. Uh oh! Uh, what? Uh oh! I don't think the shovel's the right answer here. There's a lot of barbers in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe this is a thing we should do later. Yeah. Stick to the main story. Yeah, it seems like we might need more supplies to get that done. More firepower. <laughs> well... I feel like some of these side quests you get are a lot harder. Yeah. Than the main quest. Turns out they are. They are. I'm saying barfers. Azarafel. I would never say barbers. I thought F. You know how I feel about barbers. Pretty good. Pretty good. They do good work. They do. Balilasov starts majoring in animation tomorrow in a game design course. Good luck. Way to go, Balilasov. That rules. I love the loading times. It's super good. It's super good. Quit playing games with my heart. I should have known from the start. Fish! 
Fish. Fish. Okay, so the actual mission that we're supposed to be doing. The Diving Suit Factory. Grimhaven Bay on Seasmith Ave between Levi Coffin Avenue and Deep Shore Road. Yeah, she even haircut. I was all in on the Backstreet Boys and the Insinks when I was but a youth. Yeah. I had all the albums. I knew all the words. I went to the concerts. That's right. I saw Insync in concert. Did you? I did. Really? Mm hmm. I did not know that. And the one I saw, there was a whole story to it where this guy was trying to stop like all of music. He was a supervillain who wanted to end music, and NSYNC had to save the day through the power of song. And Good, um, and they did. They did it. I'm glad they did that. Yeah. Here it is. I keep doing that. Okay. Um, let's fast transport to Deep Shore. Deep Shore! Daddy love a deep shore. Jock said I was wiping a speck off my screen and realized I was stroking Jacob's face. I know, I could feel it. It was very loving, and I appreciated that. I can't remember my first concert. I went to a bunch with my brother when I was in high school. Brother! Oh, Cam, this is a cute drawing. Aww. A little narwhal saying, let's get horny on a boat. I think people get horny on a boat because the other alternative is getting incredibly nauseous on a boat. And you know that you can't be horny and nauseous. So if you're one, you're immune to the other. Were you aware of that? I was not, but it's very true what you said. It's science. <laughs> it's clear to me that you were not listening to what I said. No, you can uh, Look at this guy. He's selling a, a part of a crab or several fish. Because you can't find fish anywhere in this town. Nowhere. Wayward Haymaker, you can go from horny to nauseous pretty quick, but you can't be horny and nauseous at the same time. True facts. But once the horniness ends, the nausea can, can creep in. Mm -hmm. But next time you're really nauseous, try getting super horny, it goes right away. That's the way of it. Oh, there's like a Twitch preacher in our chat. Is it what? A Twitch preacher. Coming in here and Twitch preaching. Does somebody want to ban that person? A moderator would, if a moderator would like to, ban. Ice Ross124. Do you want to do it? I mean, I could do it. I'm just sitting here. I just thought maybe someone else would like to. It could be fun. There we go. Cam did it. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Also known as a Twitcher. Tweeter's gonna tweet. <laughs> Tweeting is a phrase? That's funny. Is this like a common thing? <laughs> Bitter Bonbon said there was too much horny, they had to tweet it away. <laughs> Red Ravens asked why I sound so experienced about the specifics of boat horniness. And the answer is, I've, I've lived a long and, and storied life, Red Ravens. I've experienced many things.
You looking for the diving suit factory? Yeah. Diving suit factory. It sounds like it'd be like a Devo song. Yep. Diving suit factory. She wanted to go out in the ocean. Everyone is quoting me as, as me saying I've lived a long and horny life, and that's not what I said. <laughs> but I did think about it. And, and then you guys just took it from my brain and made it into reality. Granary. Motors. How many separate splorching sound effects do you think they had to record for this game? I don't know. Oil and coal. Who's that? Who's that? Oh. These people get twitchy okay. when you get around them. I'm gonna re... Western Grimhaven Bay on C. Smith Avenue between C. Levi... C. Smith Avenue. That's not what I'm on. Oh, see, there's the problem. You're on the wrong boat road. You're on the wrong boat road. Because Levi Avenue and Deep Shore. What does it say? Go back to the thing. You, you could have just gone to the icon, but... Yeah, it's between those two roads, not at the intersection of them. Go back to the map. It's over here. You saw it? Where it was? Well, because I know those roads. It's where I put the marker. But we don't know where Seasmith Avenue is, so going to the marker is not going to help us. True that. Hold on. Why, won't, why are we not looking at the map? <laughs> what are we doing here? I want to get back in the general area before I have to look at it five billion times to... Oh. The fuck did you just do to that guy? Can I point a gun at him? No. He's Listen, he's doing his business and you're doing yours. He had to extract some goo from that man. Okay. We need to find C. Smith Avenue between Levi Coffin Street and Deep Shore, right? Yeah. So it could be over this way. Uh, C. Smith. I'm just stupid. You're not stupid. You just misunderstood. You misinterpreted the clues. Diving suit factory. Diving suit factory. <laughs> Buff Shaman said this game is like L.A. Noir, but if someone sneezed on the disc. <laughs> 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 That's very funny to me. Yeah. They sneeze on it and put it back in there like, oh, I got it all splorchy. But you know what this game has that, or it doesn't have that L.A. Noir has and that's a good thing? The face movement, realistic face movement. That's true, and also, the this item seems important. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween future. Thank you for the bits, and have a good night. Good night. I was just thinking about the um, that video Griffin did. Of the L.A. Noir VR. Oh, yeah. One where he's doing, like, all the arm. Yeah. <laughs> all the arm stuff in the and mirror. And one of them just goes through him. <laughs> yeah. That video is so good. I want to watch that again. Why can't this stream be done so I can go watch that video again? I'm sorry. Don't. Do you want to know what I'm mad about? Oh, it's just a little guy. Come here. 
Put your juke in. Got him. Gotta splorch away. Can't carry anymore. There is a sanity meter in this game, Raven Jade. It's that blue meter. And as it goes down, you start seeing visions. Yeah. You can't carry anymore? No. You should craft some bullets. Or med kits, or whatever you can craft. Can you make I, any med kits? I think it was saying that I couldn't carry any more bullets. Can't Same. carry any more... Bullets. Are you sure? Yeah. You don't have that many bullets. Maybe I'm just a damn idiot. Maybe I'm just a stupid fucking idiot. Is that what you're saying? Maybe I'm just a big, dumb, stupid idiot. Someone said, Julia, I heard you like Mushishi. I do like Mushishi. We gotta watch more of that. We do. I forgot that was one we had on our list. An anonymous cheerer gave us 420 bits. Thank you, anonymous cheerer, for your ghostly, I'm ghastly anonymous cheer. To a rusty suit. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. Squish splorch. Oh yeah, it is the meter that the face cam is covering. I realize we're in like the last ten minutes of this play sash, but I'll just do that. <laughs> I'll just do that rock quick. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. All right. I always forget that our heads can cover up things on the screen. Yeah. Well, I guess you should start firing off some rounds then. I intend to. Oh, Hello Turtle says I think you're full on casings, not bullets. Do you need to make some some goddamn bullets? Because you just made bullets, you clearly ain't full on bullets. Yep. I'm always telling you to make more bullets and you won't do it. It's true. I don't understand why you just don't make as many bullets as you can all the time. What are you saving these casings for? I don't know. In case they can be used in something else and then we actually find some but bullets. But you're always getting more all the time. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter until you're full. If games had a streamer HUD mode that left a corner of UI free, that would be hilarious. And also I could see that definitely being a thing that happened in the future. See, it's green. But that one's yellow. I think it's yellow if it's key evidence. Mm. And it's green if it's green. It's green if it's green. APMS, I have not seen Mononoke the show. You heard about Mononoke the show? No. Never even heard about that. Who's talking about kids on the slope? I feel like I've heard about that before. Does that seem like a thing I would enjoy? Cam, I see your joke, and I love it. It's hysterical, and I can't stop laughing. Check it out, APMS. Thanks for the wreck. Thanks for the wreck. Thanks for the wreck. I think what I want to get together for our sound for our uh, stream in the future, I want to get a soundboard. So like, if you're playing, I'll have a soundboard over here, and I can click buttons and make it. It'll like say things that we say commonly. Mm-hmm. So I can like click a button, it'll go. Thanks for the wreck. Whenever there's like a recommendation. Yeah. Or I could click a button, it would be like I guess I'm an idiot. You could do that for subs. 
No, those gotta be personal. Those gotta be personal. It's just for things we say all the time, you know? Eat get, a butt. Get some, eat, eat a butt, doofus. Or like one you just push and it goes, watch Haikyuu. <laughs> Karina. Karina. <laughs> watch Haikyuu. Yeah, we should get a Karina soundboard. We've been on a campaign to try to convince Karina to watch Haikyuu. Spoopy Molder. Thank you. Thank you for the subscription. Um, I have been thinking about it, and I really think huh. that... Huh. Haikyuu is one of the best made anime ever. And for some reason, Karina just won't watch it. She won't watch it. And I think that's messed up. That is messed up. GF Whitaker, that sounds pretty Be dope. Safe. Anime about music and period drama. I love music. And music. time periods. <laughs> time periods. Yeah, Totes, I would definitely have a button that just says, Yes, Cam, we see your joke and can't I stop laughing you. because it's so funny. Oh, was I not supposed to report back to this dude? He warned you. Goodbye. Okay. That's what we're saying, Bro Jangles. Karina's into pretty boys, so Haikyuu is perfect. She's gonna love those boys. Yeah. So what am I supposed to actually She's gotta doing? see those boys play. She's gotta see those boys play. Don't everyone tweet at Karina to watch it, though. Don't. No one tweet at Karina. This is our cross to bear, and this is our burden. Yeah. What are you trying to do right now? Maybe in the ship's log. Sanders brought it with him to the hospital, but the last place he remembered is the surgery ward. Did you go to the surgery ward in the hospital? That's in the basement. In the basement. Surgery ward. Oh. I'm having visions. Oh, go over to it. No, it's like a... No, that's a thing. Go over to it. No, it's like... I don't go over to it. I press a button, and I can't remember what button I'm supposed to be pressing. You gotta go over to it. No, it's like a button. You gotta look at the right spot. Are those abs? <laughs> you tried to shoot it. <laughs> You gotta look at this vision. I'm trying. Go over to it. Oh, X. Can you look down at the surgery table? There it is. Take the patient's things and throw them in storage. I told you to go over to it. I want to be. Ah! So they're in storage. <laughs> You know when you see an invisible bug? Then it makes you go, ah! That's it. Crew complaining of noises and no sleep. Fish behaving strangely. Crew reporting hallucinations. Distributed rum. Air pocket in the caverns near the devil's teeth close to the city. Ancient walls. Crates with tools. Tate and Myers went down to investigate. Tate and Myers returned with only Albert Throgmorton is now completely unhinged. The crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat, tried to stop them, resulted in mutiny. So, the last thing was near Devil's Teeth. Close to the city. Boat to Devil's Teeth. Don't go to a place called Devil's Teeth. Yeah, really. If it's named that, it means you're not supposed to go there. Because someone uh, went there and was like, this place is like the Devil's goddamn teeth. Yeah. And no one should go here. I'm going to call it that so no one goes here no more. Yeah. And people are like, you know what? I think I'm going to go there. Alright, where's the new thing? 
here. Boat to Devil's Teeth. Boat to Devil's Teeth. What's up? Sanders is wounded badly in the shoulder and needs medical aid. Oh yeah, it was during one of my many button presses that I did You really that do just like slam on those buttons. I do. <laughs> Cam, I'm glad you got to add the term Thought Morton. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna get a lot of use in the future, so it's good that it's permitted now. <laughs> loading. We're loading. We're loading the game, aren't we? Aren't we loading the game? Hey, is my, uh, my eye appointment's not tomorrow, is it? Oh, fuck, I think it might be. Is your eye appointment tomorrow? It is. It is tomorrow. That's what you told me. Oh, no. Your eye appointment's tomorrow. Oh, no. No. Why? I don't want to wake up early. Ah, uh, yes, that is the problem. Oh, this sucks. They didn't even say anything to me about it. They usually call me and are like, Jacob! Remember, you gotta get your Don't eyes Don't forget checked. your eyeballs! What the hell? <laughs> Don't you dare. Bless you. <laughs> oh, that's it! <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, we gotta check on your The whole chat's writing Obo Nobo. Obo Nobo! Obo Nobo! They didn't text me, they didn't call me, they didn't email me. Rude. If I show up there, are they gonna see me? Go to the boat. Gotta get that boat. Oh, hey. The mayor's curse these days. Okay. Okay. Where's the boat? I think it's that. Who's that? What Is happened that? to the yellow man? What? M uh, Mr. Mustard. Oh, yeah, Colonel Mustard. Moldy Mr. Mustard. Thank you. You better make some damn bullets! Make some revolver ones, too. Hell yeah. Actually, where is this boat? Oh, behind me? Ah, uh, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much. Oh, are you just... Are you just going? I'm just going. Oh. Oh. Look at this missed-ass island. You just went. You just went to Devil's Why was that teeth? the fastest thing to load this entire game? It loaded so fast, though. Good twist, totes. Oh, okay. Guess you're going down. Down the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for the compliments on my shirt. You're in a diving suit now. I got it at the old navy. Ah, the old navy. I've, I'm familiar. Down we go. Here we go. Oh, but no. Oh, no. Ammo is scarce. Fleeing is often a better option. Thank God. Julia. Why is the helmet three small holes instead of one hole you can actually see out of? Uh, I think it's because they didn't have glass that could take the pressure of deep sea. So they had to make it smaller to... Why not one for each eyeball, then? Instead of two down where my cheeks go, and one where my forehead is. Well, because you want to see things, like, kind of down Shut and Shut kind of your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some more information on diving. Get some more information on diving! 
The harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time. Flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. If damaged, hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. I can, I can still follow them. Gross. Okay. I gotta follow the lights. He's floating a lot for a man that is just it's covered in iron. Could be a Could statue. Be a statue? Guys, if you want right answers, but not fun answers, you go to me. I give fun answers only, but you'll never learn anything. <laughs> other than dumb bullshit. I'm not the fun one here. This has been established. I like how there's just a nice stack of... <laughs> I know. Crates, crates on the bottom of the damn sea. Oh, look at that! Ooh, what the fuck is that? Excuse me. Excuse me. Did you guys see this shit down here? I'm going. What the fuck? Oh, it's Dr. 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 Pointy. Tiny Arms. Dr. Tiny Arms. Oh, there's tentacles everywhere. Oh, there, there, Are you seeing all these yeah. tenties? You're gonna get grabbed by the damn ghoulies. Well, I'm losing my damn mind first. Well, why, yeah. If you saw that many tenties, you'd lose your mind too. What's that? That's a gun. It's a gun. You can't even see because you're so fucking bonkers. Oh, it's a worm! Use your ramrod. Use your ramrod. I would love to not be crazy anymore. I can't see shit. Oh. I can see shit. Oh, we're getting some interesting vignetting. Nice. How long is there left in the stream? Like six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Oh. I'm just out of my suit? Where's my suit? Oh. <laughs> Great. I have to regain sanity because I have none. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. What kind of scientists are these? Um, oh, we got a goofy boy doing a little trick dance. Is my, my meter's empty, right? My sanity meter? It's full. Is it? Yeah, it's completely okay. full. What the hell? I don't even know if you're sane or insane in the membrane. He's a bunny. I'm a bunny. I'm a happy little Gods bunny. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Dude, gods never mark me as their aphid. Why that did he sound like sucks. Brian David Gilbert? He kind of did a little bit. <laughs> Is this the next uh, Unraveled? Are the gods in me? The suits are all cut up. Well, maybe we shouldn't leave our suit just like What's sitting around. What's that? What's what? The big thing on the wall. Some weird, goopy, gross, gosh darn shit. I took a picture of it for you. Thank you. There's a guy over here, too. This guy's dead. Oh, take a photo of him. Innsmouth attacker. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Hey guys! Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. What you guys doing in here? This is, looks cool. Oh my god! This is fucking Paul Giamatti motherfucker over here. <laughs> It's if Paul Giamatti had opposite hair. Right. Yeah. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes. First, second, third. Opened by the aura. 
You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it this guy's so wet, and his hair is so red. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. This guy's tweeting. Wait. Walk, listen, pray is going to be what I write on my wall. <laughs> it's going to be your new book. For your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray. I'll take a worship. Oh, you can see some shit if you look at this. You can see some shit if you look at this. Who's this woman? Artifact. I don't know, but I like her. Was it the focus of their worship? Looks like a sewer lid. <laughs> oh, there's a thing. Enter the aura. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. So these are the Innsmouth attackers who came to fuck up the expedition. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. I hate any time anything is called the seed. Get the seed. If it's not literally like seed of a plant. Oh, it might okay. be dough. What? It's shivering. This is... no. No. Get away from me. I think I'm starting to get the picture. So it probably is the opposite order of where you are right now. So this one last? I think so. No! No! Into the temple you? The Spaghetti they sandals! Spaghetti <laughs> sandals! Thank you for the sub. Wait. Unfortunately, you're, you're very late. And we're going to be very done soon. This yeah. is, no! And no! That, get away from me! Oh, we got wrong. Maybe that one was first? I don't know. Hold on. I mean, it's gotta be that one back there before oh, well, this one. Well, she's getting dragged back here. Oh, so... I think this is first, then. And then it's them coming in. Yeah. And then it's them dragging right? her. Yeah. No! Should no! I... This is... No! We enter the temple. The we enter the temple. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. Also wrong. Maybe they entered the temple. Then she does this. Mm. Then they pull her back. Mm -hmm. I think that's gotta be it. This is no. No. <laughs> no. Stop. Stop it. Enter the temple. The moment they take the key seal, get ready to cut up. Okay. What? Whatever this AK, I think they're saying like, okay, weirdly. Okay. I guess that's fine. The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Mind Palace. Yeah. I'm a creepy crawler, aren't I? I'm a will spooky boy. Oh, wow. we got so much fuck. To put together, let's put together this shit and then we can call it there. Let's just do our... The outbreak of madness on the Titania was caused by Albert's presence. The crew exiled him on a lifeboat to stop it. Okay. The Titania crew went mad and started a massacre in the port as a result. The Innsmouthers know the truth about this madness. They need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. Ah. Uh. I can't leave the survivors to die here, even if their madness may influence others. This was not their fault. I have to abandon the survivors. Their infectious madness is too dangerous to bring to the surface. They knew the risks. I feel like you got to abandon those survivors. I mean, I don't mean to... What's this thing? Albert Throgmorton was the source of the madness. We might not have all of the information yet. 
it seems like. Oh. Oh, we have a new thing we can look through here. It's too dangerous to save the survivors. The Innsmouthers or Harriet must have the answers about this madness. I mean, so that's what, what I'm do? thinking. I have to save the expedition. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. I'm here. I mean, I just feel like, yeah, if they're going to come up surface and everyone's going to go fucking bonkers, then it's probably better if they stay down here in Is the cave. Is there a cure to the bonkersness? Not that we're aware of at this juncture. What's that? It's a camera spot. Can you, will you push X on it? Or do you just take a picture of it? Take a picture of it. Or take a picture of that thing in the distance. Maybe is the, the deal. Whoa! Little creepy one down there creeping. Can you like... Oh. Can you take a picture of that like island over there? Like with like frame it up? And like get the whole thing in? Not with the thing. Just like get the whole thing in frame and maybe that'll do it. Nope. Well, fuck me, I guess. Well, I guess we should probably call it here for now. Julia. You can try to figure this out off stream if you want. Yeah. Uh, but this is going to be the end of the stream at this juncture. Thanks for hanging with us. I feel like we got to a good yeah. story point here. We did. Um, we will, uh, if you guys are into it, revisit this game next Sunday mm -hmm. and continue with the story. I'm yeah. having a good time, so I'm happy to do that. Yeah, this Wednesday we'll continue with M Mario's? Yeah, we'll have to do some Mario Maker or, or something else. Whatever, yeah. we are, whatever we're feeling, we'll figure it out and let you guys know. And, um, have a good night. Good night, good everyone. Week. See you Wednesday night. Goodbye. Goodbye.